Well, good Friday morning. Pastor Hayden with another Lord Light's devotional. I'm going to sit down here with you for just a few minutes here. Talk about this matter of calling upon the Lord. I was reading in Genesis back in the early days of creation and back at the beginning of civilization. In fact, this is in the fourth chapter of Genesis as, as Adam's family began to increase and world population began to grow. I don't know how many people were living in the time of Adam. Some have kind of tried to calculate that there's probably about 2,800,000 people before Adam died. I'm not sure just how they come up with all of that. But nonetheless, civilization in the early days, uh, we find that people began to call upon the name of the Lord. Genesis 4 and verse 26, then people begin to call upon the Lord. And so that's the first mention of prayer that we have in the Bible. And yet as we go through the Bible, we see that there's such a, 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 a such a, a encouragement to pray, uh, such admonition to pray. I mean, you know, we're not only told that men ought always to pray and not to faint. We are encouraged to come boldly to the throne of grace. We might find grace to help in our time of need. Prayer is a wonderful media between us and God. And I'm so glad today for the privilege of calling upon the name of the Lord. And like I say, people have been doing it now since uh, the beginning of civilization. And our God is one that does not grow weary of the prayers of his people. And it's a good thing because how often throughout the day do we really call upon the name of the Lord? Now, I encourage people that have never been saved, those that have never repented and and giving their hearts and lives over to the Lord, I encourage them to pray. The Bible says, call upon the, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, and call upon him while he is near. And, and I believe that this is the time to seek the Lord for salvation, for the forgiveness of our sin, that we might be ready for heaven. I took care of that back when I was just a mere lad. That isn't to say that I haven't had to repent of things since then isn't to say that I've always lived a sterling Christian life, but I remember the time that I did call upon the Lord. It's just a wee lad back in the Soma, Kansas, and I know that I received the assurance from sins forgiven. And so we call upon the Lord for salvation, but there are so many other times that we call upon the name of the Lord. And I think about all the times when we need His sustaining grace that we call upon the Lord. There's so many situations that we face that we are powerless over changing those situations. Many circumstances that we find ourselves in, but we find that those circumstances, <coughs> excuse me, those circumstances are so totally beyond our control that what other alternative do we have but to call upon the name of the Lord? At best, our family and our friends cannot always take care of our problems. Our family and friends cannot always offer the solution to the perplexities of life. Uh, but I'm glad that we can call upon the name of the Lord for sustaining grace. I'm glad that we can call upon the name of the Lord for the wisdom that we need that gives us direction in life. I'm glad that we can call upon the name of the Lord knowing that he is there to hear the heart cry of his children. So I think that most of us today, we probably remember the time that we called upon the name of the Lord for salvation. And we probably remember the time, maybe five minutes ago, when we called upon the name of the Lord to sustain us and to keep us and to show us the direction that we ought to continue to travel in. So call upon the name of the Lord every day for the help and the grace that you need to acceptably serve the Lord and to make it to heaven. Heavenly Father, thank you for the privilege of calling upon the name of the Lord, not only when we realize we're a sinner, but when we realize our helplessness as humans. Help us to know that you're there to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can even think or ask. All we have to do is call upon the name of the Lord. So we ask you to be with us today and on down throughout life. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, call upon the name of the Lord any old time. His ear is not heavy that it cannot hear. We'll see you tomorrow.